Understanding CPU Technology Why 7 Nanometer Winds、uh, CPUs nowadays are made of CMOS、uh, gate. CMOS、um, is、uh, different from other k i n d of gate、um, transistor like bipolar. Um, or、uh, the NMOS or PMOS and others. There are many k i n d of transistors. The reason why CMOS is this is a complementary metal oxide.、Uh, this has the latest、uh, switching energy. So, when you switch the、uh, transistor on off, the least energy required for the CMOS gate. The CMOS gate is like there are two types of gate、uh, transistor、uh, P type and N type, and they are cascaded like that. Then, this is input and output. And these two transistors create inverter. Means negate the input. The output will be negation of input. Well, if you combine some transistor together in this configuration, it's going to be no gate and this is going to be none gate. So, CPU is made of a bunch of those、um, gates. And number of gates you count, like 100 million gates、um, on single silicon chip to create CPU. And these gates, density of gates increase. This is well known Moore's law、uh, exponentially over the time. So if you draw the ear and Log number of gates. So it's going to be like that. Means it's double, keep doubling、uh, the density. So on the single chip, number of gates you can put is going to keep doubling. okay The smaller gate size means each gate can be smaller and It's, it's shrunken geometrically using the finer uh, um, technology. Say this is a gate, the next generation will be like that. So it's a geometrically shrunken. So the size, the number of、uh, g a t e is g o n n a、uh, double when the technology m o v e forward. So that's the reason why we have a Moore's law, meaning smaller gates is going to double the number of gates on the CPU chip. So, the, when the gate size, well, transistor size gets smaller, what is the benefit? There is another benefit. Okay. Other benefit is the switching speed d e p e n d on. How quick you can charge those c a p a c i t o r around transistor? Okay, the c a p a c i t o r e x i s t it's called a parasitic c a p a c i t o r、uh, between power to、uh, input, input to the output, output to the input, the also、um, output to the substrate. This is substrate. So those c a p a c i t o r e x i s t And what's happened is、uh, switching action, the one side of the transistor on and off, so the voltage swing on the output up and down. This voltage swing is going to charge this,、uh, discharge those capacitor. Okay? So, what's happened is switching time, the CMOS c o n s u m e current. So that's, that's the power. Okay? The CMOS actually, when the 
gate doesn't switch, there's no power consumption, almost zero, because one side is always off. So the current going through the gate is almost zero. But if you have the uh, like 100 million gate on one single chip, there are always some gates are switching around because the clock is running and the clock is going to affect many, many gates. So the power consumption of the CMOS chip is actually this switching transient current, the current to charge and discharge those capacitors. Okay. So this is a cross section of the actual silicon chip. What we have to create is the by doping some impurity to the silicon. This is a silicon substrate, the N well and the P well. And this is opposite P and N. And what we do is to create a gate over this connection point. This size is hard to control. In the process control, when you come down to n nanometers, 7 nanometers, they used to be like a 1 micron. 1 micron is uh, 1,000 times bigger than nano, right? So it used to be that size. Then now it's, we are, we're talking of 7 nanometers. And they said when it's come down to 1 nanometers or below, this uh, the characteristic of transistors start changing by um, quantum effect. So going beyond this, like 3 nanometers to 1 nanometer, there is a great technical challenge. So there is a, what we say, probably we're hitting the limit of this type of transistor um, technology. Okay, so what's happened with uh, capacitor to charging, discharging, when you switch low to high, then output, say inverter, goes high to low. But there is a delay time because in order to switch output, you have to charge up some capacitor and discharge some capacitor and that's going to be the delay time. So this is switch, switching speed. The gate speed affect the uh, CPU performance. Um, and the capacitance size is proportional to the geometric size. So if size is shrunken geometrically, capacitor size become very tiny. So the switching speed increase. So the benefit is double. One, more gate on a chip. Two, less power. So those are the benefit of shrinking the uh, size of a transistor. So definitely uh, that's going to reduce the cost. But seven nanometers uh, uh, photographic technology. This uh, everything is a photographic technology in the IC chip because they make this pattern and use uh, lights to expose and chemically take out this unnecessary part. And this alignment process is very critical. So photographic technology is the IC chip manufacturing technology. They use various uh, technology like self-alignment, means, um, for example, divide this into two, this way or this way is same versus you make this way and align or misaligned. Okay, this is old technology. The self-alignment is like even you have a slight, slightly off position, 
it still works kind of technology that's self-alignment and tight control on diffusion process diffusion is like um, how you uh, diffuse the impurity into the silicon to make any type and p type and that's tight control on diffusion process that's the technology so that's the cpu technology and beside the making uh, cpu architectures how the cpu works it's a it's an arm or risk besides those technology how you put it in on silicon chip that become crucial in performance more gates the less power okay so that's what is going on in the industry and whoever does this better um, win actually in the CPU market okay I hope you enjoyed listening to this and please check other videos uh, we have more interesting videos if you like click subscription